Meantime, you heard Steve Leisman talking earlier this week about the idea of the pre-session. Did companies cut back to prepare for a downturn, downturn and actually help to stave it off? My next guest says yes, and that firms will start to reap the benefits of getting lean in 2024, calling it the year to exhale. Joining me with how to position, John Augustine is Chief Investment Officer at Huntington Private Bank. Ah, oh, sounds so nice. Does sound nice. Hope it hope it works. Hope it works. Uh, what what could make it work? What would make it not work? Well, central banks stay on the sidelines. First off, that makes it work. And then other markets stay kind of range bound. I mean, we're already seeing that a little bit in stocks, bonds, and, and crude oil, as Brian was just talking about. So range bound, exhale. Right. And I think that as people look at the market today and they, they go, we got the Dow up seven tenths, the Nasdaq down eight tenths. We've got crude down, but bond yields up. Is that just end of month kind of trading activity or, or how do we read that? It could be or just range bound activity. We, we think it's just range bound. We still think there's a positive tilt to markets. It'll get tested again December 13th, Fed update. Hmm. But for now, positive tilt to markets, we would say. And a lot of people say the reason, you know, the S&P's November gain, according to Bespoke, is one of the best in history. It absolutely has ripped. Is that literally just the flip side of falling bond yields? Or do you think that's sustainable even if bond yields stop falling from here? Partially. So there were new, new, two new players, two new sectors that helped drive stocks. November, REITs and financials mm. were the two new sectors that helped drive, along with the Magnificent Seven that's been talked about. Then moving into now January, now is the recession, is, is talked about is the precession, so to speak, and earnings over. Is the profits recession of the S&P 500 over? We think it is. We think profits accelerate from here. We're a little bit below consensus from our equity team at Huntington. But nevertheless, profits should be headed up. So it's an interesting divide because we were just speaking with Jay Bryson earlier. He's a little bit cautious on the economy. So he also acknowledges the profits have held up better than expected, but expects them to slow down again. So I guess whether they will or whether they won't simply depends on your view on the macro or, or how it evolves. Yeah, it's going to be a very interesting summer next year. Do central banks pivot? Does the economy pivot next summer when it heats up again? That's when it's going to get interesting in our view. For now, hold on to what you have. Be patient. That's what's worked. You mentioned financials, which has been kind of a, a pariah since March. You know, there have been times when they've rebounded, but it, largely speaking, the, the sector has gone nowhere. It's been a problem for the Russell 2000 and so forth. You think we've turned a corner or was this, to use the phrase, a dead cat bounce? The, the expectation is, and our equity team thinks the same, that the yield curve writes itself second half next year. If that expectation holds, financials are going to continue to do well. Stock market's looking ahead of that, to that. So that, to us, interest rates are going to be a big call on that. Yield curve, big call on that. Do you feel uncomfortable saying the yield curve goes back into positive territory or whatever, you know, helps these results, even though that's never happened before and we've been able to skirt a downturn? Uh, it depends on how it works. Bull steepener, bear... Bear steepener. So it depends on what comes down. Is it short rates that come down, long rates that go up? Short rates coming down is what's favored mm -hmm. in markets. That's the expectation right now, or the consensus expectation. That's why we say next, next year is going to get more interesting when the weather heats up. Right.